But does it ever hurt to just have a frick ton of shimmer on your brow bone? I don't think so. It can only help, right? Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. That was super sweet of you. I don't have an eye look to zoom in on yet, but look at my new earrings. These are super exciting. They're from Shop Kike. I got these earrings when I placed my last order when I got my beautiful little disco flower earrings, which you can still buy from Shop Kike, but you can't buy these ones as far as I know because they were a special deal for Kike third birthday. They did like a special deal. The first 300 orders of their third birthday sale got these earrings for free. And yeah, I got these beautiful little moon and star earrings and they're like pearlized. They're so pretty. You guys know I'm a moon and stars gal. I'm a space gal. I love space. I love stars. I love the moon. I'm very connected to the moon. I feel like I always notice the moon outside my window at night. I'm falling asleep and then all of a sudden I catch like a flash out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, there's the moon. Hello. How are you? But that's another story for another day. Bye! That's not what this video is about. You did not click on this video to hear about my cute little limited edition earrings and how I talk to the moon sometimes at night. No, you clicked on this video because you, like me, have an interest in me comparing liquid eyeshadows, specifically comparing Half Magic Beauty versus About Face Beauty. Now let me just get this out of the way right at the beginning. I like both of these brands. This is not gonna be a who did it better sort of a thing because I can already tell you they both do it well. But the formulas are different. You know, they're kind of of a similar price point. The only difference being that About Face is available at Ulta now, whereas Half Magic is still only available on their website. So I'd say this one is a little bit more accessible in that regard. But also these have been sold out for a very long time, but they're going to restock eventually. So you know what? I still think this is worth it. And I'm not just comparing the mattes either. I have some shimmers to compare to because About Face has their fractal eye paints and Half Magic has some shimmer chrome addiction eye paints. So if that sounds like a topic that is interesting to you and you want to see me compare liquid eyeshadows from Half Magic and About Face, then I encourage you to please subscribe and keep on watching because it's coming at you right now. So the way I plan on doing this video is to compare colors. Like I want to do the same eye look on both eyes, but just using About Face on one side and using Half Magic on the other side. And I definitely have more shades from About Face than I do of Half Magic. About Face just has more shades in general. They've been around longer than Half Magic. But from Half Magic, I'm going to be using the shades We Are Aliens, this gorgeous green. And then let me show you what I'm going to use from About Face. I'm going to use the shade Vertigo Flowers. I feel like this is a pretty close dupe. And then also from Half Magic, I'm going to be using the shade Sky Juice, this gorgeous periwinkle blue, and I'm gonna have to mix a couple shades together from About Face. I'm gonna have to mix together the shades No Queen Blues, New Karma, and White Noise. And then my third dupe is gonna be the Half Magic Beauty shade ASMR. It's a gorgeous gold shimmer. And from About Face, I have the shade Tin Pan Alley, which is also a gorgeous shimmer. So I feel like we have dupes colors. So what we're really gonna be comparing is the difference in formulas. Like I said at the beginning, this is not trying to say like, oh, which one's better? Because I already told both of them are great, but I do want to show you the differences between the two formulas so you can decide for yourself whether you want to get one over the other or you want to get both. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to start off with the half magic side. I'm going to go back and forth, do one color at a time so we can really see good comparisons, but I want to start off with the half magic beauty shade We Are Aliens, and we're going to do half magic on this eye and about face on this eye. And with both of these liquid eyeshadows, I find that you don't need to go in with the primer first because they have really good staying power on their own. Like once they dry down, they will not budge, but don't worry if you make a mistake, you can very easily wipe it away with some micellar water, which I feel like personally every makeup lover should just have micellar water on hand. Even if you don't use it to wash your face at night, I used to never have it on hand because I stopped using it to wash my face. And then one day I realized like, oh, it's actually really nice to have around. Keep some Q-tips on your makeup desk or your makeup area along with some micellar water and you can fix just about any mistake. But like I was saying before, you don't need a primer with this. Once it sets down, it will set down for good. You have a pretty good amount of work time with these though, I will say. Like, I can play around with this probably for about a minute and a half, I'd say, before it's like set in place and will no longer move. And what I really like about the Half Magic Beauty eye paints is you see the shape of this brush. It's nice and pointy. Like, obviously you could still wipe some off the back of your hand or onto a palette and work with the brush if that's what's more comfortable for you. But I find that I can still create 
create really nice graphic shapes using the brush that it comes with. I'm just gonna make sure my shape is nice and pointed at the end here. You might see it start to crease a little bit while it's still wet and you're still working, but just make sure you rub out the crease before it completely dries and you'll be fine. I also like this brush because look how nice I can get into that inner corner with this. Honestly, you might have more than a minute and a half of work time with this. I'm looking at the timer on my camera and I'm like, I'm already at three minutes. I know I've been talking a little bit, but it's still very much malleable and able to be moved. You'll also notice that this goes on pretty opaque pretty much from the jump. It's a really moussey formula. You can build it up a little bit. Like I'm adding a little bit of a second layer onto the outer portion of my eye just because I feel like the product started to fade. Like I ran out of product on the brush. So I'm layering up a little bit and I will say this layers beautifully. It doesn't get cakey or dry looking and definitely doesn't draw attention to any texture on your eyes, which some liquid eyeshadows will do. I will say I avoided liquid eyeshadow for many years because I felt like every time I wore it, my eyelids just looked so dry and crispy and crepey and crusty, but they don't with this formula. Okay, I feel really good about that shape. Here's one last look at We Are Aliens on its own. Really pretty shade. Now let's create the same shape and shade on the other eye using the About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paint Vertigo Flowers. Okay, so I've actually decided I'm gonna mix Vertigo Flowers with just a tinge of white out. We're just gonna add a little bit of white to our slime green because let me show you, I'll swatch Vertigo Flowers on its own and you can see that it's just a tinge deeper. There's a little bit more depth to the green, whereas the Half Magic We Are Aliens shade definitely has more of a white base to it. So when I say I'm adding the tiniest amount of white, I'm literally just going to do that and mix it together. And for the About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paints, I'm going to be going in with my Glisten Cosmetics F3 brush because I don't like the applicator as much on the About Face shades. You could totally use it, but as you can see compared to Half Magic Beauty, this has more of a classic doe foot applicator. It's really rounded shape, which is great if you're just going in and depositing a little bit of color and then blending it out, but I personally just like a pointier brush or a brush with like some pointy edges so I can get nice graphic shapes, but that's just me. This is a great brush to have anyways. I use this brush literally all the time. It's great for mixing my own custom shades and then going in and doing graphic eye looks. See, now we have like a perfect shade match. All right, now let me go in with my about face side. I would say the biggest difference in form between the Half Magic liquid eyeshadows and the About Face liquid eyeshadows is that Half Magic is a little more on the moussey side, whereas the About Face eye paints are more of like a true liquid. Like, ugh, okay, well, I don't want to say like a true liquid because they definitely have some, some tack to them. Like, they're not going to be dripping off your eyes when you apply them, but the Half Magic ones are definitely moussier. I don't know, moussey is like the best word I can use to describe it. You definitely have a little less work time with the About Face eye paints too. Not that much less. I'd say this one you actually have a minute and a half, whereas I said a minute and a half for the half magic ones, but as you saw, I clearly had like three minutes on that. Whereas about face is like, yeah, it's like already drying up on my hand here because it's been over a minute since I mixed them together. But it's okay because I'll just go in and make a little bit more of my concoction. And if I were truly focused and not like talking to a camera at the same time, I would not run out of work time. <laughs> this brush is also really good for getting into the inner corner. I'm telling you, don't sleep on like flat top brushes like these. They come in so handy with liquid eyeshadows. Cause see, then I can also turn it on its side and use it for the wing portion of my look and it gives me nice sharp lines. Like I mentioned earlier, the other perk to the about face matte fluid eye paints is that they currently offer a much wider variety of colors than Half Magic Beauty. I'm sure Half Magic will expand in the future, but about face literally has the whole rainbow and then some, and then they also have neutral shades. They have a black, they have a deep blue, they have a mint shade. Like they have so many different colors, literally every color you could possibly imagine. And like the Half Magic eye paints, this is also going to dry down, doesn't need a primer at all, wears so well throughout the day. Definitely dries down quicker. I never see any creasing with this, whereas like I had to tap out a little bit of creasing with the Half Magic one just because it takes a little longer to dry down. So I'd say if you're in a hurry and you just want to slap some color on your lid, I'd probably reach for the About Face one because it dries down so quick. But yeah, they're incredibly comparable to 
each other. You know, that's why I said this is not a which one's better type of situation. It's just more of a what scenario are you in right now? Do you want to be able to do a graphic shape using the actual applicator that it comes with and you have a little bit of extra time? Maybe reach for the half magic or do you, are you in more of a hurry and you want to put on a really pigmented color right away? Because as you can see, I mean, this is pigmented right from the jump. The About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paints also layer up nicely. Like both of these don't make my eyelids look textured, but the About Face paints do dry down a little bit quicker. So maybe if you're in a hurry, you'd reach for that. You know what? Why don't I save my takes for the end? I'm giving takes all throughout the video. Let's move on to our next shade, which is Periwinkle Blue. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna use the Half Magic Beauty Chrome Addiction Matte Eye Paint in the shade Sky Juice, which is just the most gorgeous shade of like sky blue slash periwinkle I've ever seen. It's so pretty. And I wanna go for kind of like a reverse can I business here. I think I'm gonna try to use the applicator the whole time. We'll see. I might end up switching to a more precise brush, but like I said, what I really like about these is the applicator and how nice and pointy it is and how it literally is like designed to fit the shape of your inner corner. At least that's what it feels like. I feel like there's a lot of thought behind this applicator. Anyway, and I already have my concealer on, by the way, so that's when I'm gonna go right over it. And we'll just put a little down here. And I think I'm gonna try to blend this up into that. Okay, well, I already did it. I don't know if that was the plan, but I already did it. Here we go, just blending it into that other shade a little bit. Ooh, okay, that looks pretty. The two shades kind of mixed together to create a, a greenish blue. Yeah, this was not the original plan, but I'm loving what's happening. Adding the other liquid eyeshadow over the initial shade We Are Aliens is kind of like re-liquefying it, interestingly enough. Okay, just to clean this up, I'm gonna take a little bit of my cellar water on a Q-tip, and I'm gonna use that just just to sharpen it. Okay, just to sharpen up my front portion a little bit, you can see it's not as pointy as I want it to be. I am gonna take a Glisten number two brush, just a really tiny tip here, and use that to sharpen the front portion. All right, I'm feeling good about that shape. Now let's recreate the same color with the About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paints. So let's have a little mixology moment to try to recreate this Half Magic Beauty shade Sky Juice. And for that, I'm gonna be using the shades New Karma, No Queen Blues, and White Out. I'm gonna be using mostly white out the white shade here because something about these about face matte fluid eye paints especially the deeper shades is they are pigmented and they are a large and in charge in the pigment department i guess that's just saying they're really pigmented again but all of this to say i only need like a single dot of this dark blue shade because this dark blue shade will take over the whole look and then i'm also just gonna take a little bit of new karma maybe that was a little too much i don't know let's see all right and now let's mix them together this is always my favorite favorite part. I want, I love watching a shade be born. It's so cool that with these about face matte fluid eye paints, you can literally customize your own shades. You can with the half magic ones too. I just have less of those shades. So there's less customization options for me. Okay. This looks like maybe a hint too pastel. Of course, I was just talking about how you don't need much of this dark blue. And here I am using more of the dark blue. Is that better? I feel like it's still maybe a little too pastel or is it perfect? Let me add just a little bit more purple. I'm being a perfectionist. It would probably look fine, but I am a Virgo and I don't have the ability to not get it to be a perfect match. There we go. There's my little perfect match. Okay, now I'm gonna apply it like I did with the first shade. I'm gonna use the Glisten F3 brush to create my reverse cat eye over here. What I'm most curious about on the about face eye is gonna be if the shades mix together like they did on the half magic side. Remember I said it kind of like re-liquefied the product when I layered over it, whereas the about face ones tend to be dried down when they dry down. So let's see if these mix together. Are they mixing? Okay, yeah, they are mixing. Oh, okay, that's exciting. I did not expect that to happen. That's really cool that the product itself can like re-liquify the product. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let me use that little Glisten number two brush again so I can get it equally as sharp on this side. Both of these liquid eyeshadow formulas work really well with my graphic liner brushes, which makes me so happy because they are a little bit thicker than water activated liner. So I'm thrilled that they still work with my little tiny brushes. All right, I feel like that's a pretty good match. I still feel like this side's a little more pastel though. I am going to fly off the rails a little bit and just directly dip into the shade No Queen Blues. Let's 
see if I can deepen it a little bit on the fly. Do a little mixology directly on the eyes because like I said, the Virgo in me will not settle for these not matching exactly. <laughs> what do we think? Is that a little better? I feel like it at least looks like a little bit better of a match now and I am satisfied. Okay, this last shade for both eyes is very exciting because I don't need to do any mixology because these are like pretty much the same shade as each other, but I'm going to start with the Half Magic Beauty shade ASMR. This is also a Chrome Addiction eye paint, but it's one of their Chrome Addiction shimmer eye paints. And it looks like it might be a little deep for me. Like you might be like, excuse me, ma'am, that looks bronze. But trust me, once you get it on the brow bone here, it really can be sheared out to just like a nice highlight shade. And it's so shimmery. Literally the shimmery product of my dreams. When I'm wearing a neutral eye look, which is very rare, but when I'm wearing a neutral eye look, this is the liquid eyeshadow I'm reaching for to make it shimmery and glittery and more fun for me. So I just like to apply a little bit directly with the applicator and then I'll go in with my finger and spread it out. If I want more of a subtle finish too, I will say I'm going pretty powerful with the brow bone highlight today, but if you want it to be a little more subtle, just swipe some on the back of your hand first and work directly from there. That way you can control the amount you're using. But does it ever hurt to just have a frick ton of shimmer on your brow bone? I don't think so. It can only help, right? All right, now let's do the about face side. Now this is the first different formula than the other liquid eyeshadows I've been showing you. This is one of the about face fractal glitter eye paints. So it's still a liquid eyeshadow, but it's not a fluid eye paint. It's a fractal eye paint. And this is the shade Tin Pan Alley. I feel like it's very similar to the Half Magic one in the sense that it's like a champagne shimmer, but with like a little bit of blue green dimension to it. And I'm going to apply that the same way. I'm just going to go right on the brow bone. I will say this one feels wetter. I feel like the Half Magic shimmer formula is a little more dry, so you could probably get away with using even less of this if you wanted to. But again, like I said, adding a ton of shimmer can never hurt. It can only help the eye look. So now I'm just gonna go in and blend that out with my finger and look at how shimmery and beautiful. This one might be a hair more blue. I Look at them side by side though. I don't know. They both have some blue to them. I kind of want to swatch these two shades side by side to see like, is there any difference? Okay, there you have the about face eye paint. All right, and now the half magic eye paint. Okay, I would say the half magic one has a bit of a deeper base. I mean, not by much, but I feel like it's a slightly more bronze base, whereas the About Face one has more of a champagne base. I'd say that the Half Magic one has a hint more glitter in it, whereas the About Face one has more of a smooth shimmer consistency. But those are just observations from the swatches. I feel like when you look at them on the eyes, they look pretty much identical to each other, and I love them both a whole lot. Both of these formulas also layer really nicely over the matte liquid eyeshadows, too. Like, you could totally layer it over the green green. That's not the look I'm going for today, so I'm not going to do that right now, but they do layer really nicely. All right, because I am the way that I am, I need to add a little bit more sparkle, so I'm just going to add some half magic face gems. I'm going to add them just like right up here. Just do like a, just do like three right here, maybe one in the inner corner, and yeah, I feel like that'll really tie the look together. All right, hello. I went ahead and finished off the rest of my makeup look, added my face gems, did a little blush moment, a little sparkly gloss. I feel so freaking cute. That's not what this video is about, though. Oops, forgot to put my little fake nose ring back in. It was tickling me before, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about comparing my Half Magic Beauty side. Give you one last look at that. Do a little zoom in. Here is my Half Magic Beauty side. Just as a reminder, I'm wearing the shade We Are Aliens Sky Juice and ASMR. Now we'll look at my About Face Beauty side. I'm wearing the shade Vertigo Flowers mixed with a little bit of white out. I'm also wearing the shade No Queen Blues mixed with white out mixed with New Karma to create this periwinkle shade. And I'm wearing the shade Tin Pan Alley of the Fractal Glitter Eye Paints. I think that these look pretty much identical. I think it did a really good job with the color matches. And yeah, overall, like I've said a million times, I think the main differences between these are that you have a little bit more work time with the Half Magic Beauty ones, but you also have to wait a little longer for them to set down, whereas you have a little less work time with the About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paints, but you don't have to wait as long for them to set down. I like the applicator better on the Half Magic Beauty Eye Paints because I think it's a little easier to get sharp lines, but it's just as easy to just go in with your own brushes. You saw I even did that with the Half Magic Beauty ones too. They're both equally pigmented. The About Face ones are a little bit cheaper too. Those are $16 each, whereas Half Magic is $20 each, so a little bit of a price discrepancy, but not 
off by a lot and yeah overall I think you should try one of each I think you should try one of each and compare for yourself and let me know what you think and I thank you so much for watching let me know what you think in the comments down below is there a side that you prefer was there a formula that you preferred I don't know what's important to you in a liquid eyeshadow because for me yeah work time I'd say is important I want something that doesn't dry down like so crazy fast that it's just like impossible for me to get a look done and pigmentation is also really important to me I don't want to have to layer something up five times just to be able to see it and then for it to feel heavy on my lids both of these feel super lightweight and wonderful on my lids which two thumbs up for me. But yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys what your preferences and liquid eyeshadows are. Do you have any liquid eyeshadows that I haven't tried before that you want to recommend to me? Please do let me know because as I've said a thousand times, I'm in my liquid eyeshadow era and loving every second of it. But I thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I post new videos twice a week and I live stream sometimes. Check out my description box for all of the products on my face today. Also in my description box, I'll have a bunch of Black Lives Matter resources resources to support the Asian American community, resources to support the LGBTQ plus community, and resources to support Ukraine. So please click on those links if you haven't yet. And I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!